Hi everyone, my name is Shauna in case you don't know and welcome back to another video. So my cat is sitting right off the camera near the camera and she's purring like mad. So if you hear her little noises, I guarantee you it's my cat. She's just right here with me keeping me company. She bit me. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be doing the concert book tag. I've been seeing online that some concerts have been starting back up again, so I thought that this would be a perfect time to be doing the concert book tag. Fun fact about me, in case you don't know, the only concerts that I've been to are Harry Potter concerts. So I've been to two concerts where the movie's playing and then the orchestra is playing the soundtrack while the movie's playing, and then I've been to Wizard Rock concerts at LeakyCon. So I guess that just tells you how much of a nerd I am that I haven't gone to any real concerts, just Harry Potter concerts. This book tag was created by Az read by Brooke and I will link her YouTube channel down in the description below. All of these questions obviously relate to concerts and different things relating to concerts, so let's crack on into this video. The first question is tickets, the most recent book you either bought or checked out from the library. I don't really use the library, I've explained why in other videos, and I haven't been buying books recently, so you have seen this one in other videos. This is the most recent book that I bought, Heartstopper Volume 3 by Alice Osman. This is obviously the third book in the Heartstopper graphic novel series. Do -do -do. It's a cute gay series that I love. Number two, The Crowd. A bookish community that you love can be real life or in a book. This is hard for me because I feel like in every bookish community that I'm in, there's always some sort of drama and there's always some sort of like... I don't know, tension between members of the community. And this doesn't just relate to books, this relates to like movies and TV shows and stuff too. But the one that's coming to mind for me right now that I really enjoy is the Cursed Child community. Now we don't obsess over the script, so I might be cheating a little bit with this one. We obsess over the play and this is the script that I'm holding up, but I'm gonna count it. The reason I'm choosing Cursed Child specifically as opposed to the Harry Potter series as a whole it's because the author of the Harry Potter series is extremely transphobic, as we all know. And I feel like in the Cursed Child community, people are a little more like accepting and we're all on the same page about the author. In the Cursed Child theaters across the world, there's a lot of trans actors that are in the plays. And I feel like that's somewhat of a big like screw you to the author that there's so many trans actors and actresses in the plays. And I just get much more of like a super accepting vibe from like the majority of the Cursed Child fans. Meanwhile, with Harry Potter fans, like yes, there's a ton of like super accepting and kind Harry Potter fans that are fans of like the whole series, but there's a lot more like people still supporting the author and agreeing with everything the author says with being fans of the original series. So that's why I'm choosing the Cursed Child specifically. Also, I feel like there is less fans of the play than there are of the whole series. So we're much more of like a tight knit smaller community. And I just love everyone that I've got to meet because of this script and because of this play. All of you are so, so lovely. Next up is Sing Along, a book that you quote every time you get the chance. And going back to Harry Potter for this one, I'm going with the first Harry Potter book because I feel like that's the one that I remember the most quotes from. I love Harry Potter in case you can't tell. I mean, do you see my shirt? It's the Ilvermorny shirt. Here, I should sit up so you can see. It's Ilvermorny, you see? So yeah, I love Harry Potter and I love to quote Harry Potter as often as I can. Number four, Sold Out, a book that you're really looking forward to but just haven't read yet. For this, I'm going with Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman. I read Scythe, which is the first book in this trilogy, and I really enjoyed it. It's an awesome dystopian series. I unfortunately have not got around to reading the second book yet, but I'm for sure going to be reading this by the end of the year. I'm doing this readathon where you have to like choose 100 books and how to choose them like in the half point of this year, and then try and read as many of those by the end of the year. I'm doing this in a Goodreads group, and this was one of the ones that I put on my 100 books I want to read by the end of the year, so I'm hoping that I can read this one. Definitely not not gonna read all 100 books so because reading 100 books in six months just isn't reasonable for me but this is one that I have on my list so I'm hoping that encourages me to read this soon because I'm really looking forward to this one. The Band, a book slash book series you love that you wish everyone would read so you could fangirl about it together. I just got interrupted by a phone call but I'm back so a book slash book series you love that you wish everyone would read so you could fangirl about it together. I would say like the majority of the books that I get on NetGalley I want to put in this, but the one specifically that I'm going to say is Human Enough by ESU. This is a gay vampire romance that is so cute, but also like epic and scary in parts. And I really want more people to read it because I feel like all Twilight fans will really enjoy it. And I've seen so many people online that are like, I want a gay version of Twilight. And I'm like, read Human Enough by ESU. Let's all fangirl about it. That's like the gay Twilight, but with 
also autism representation and also asexual representation so I'm like everyone please go read that book as soon as you can. Number six is Encore, a book that you wish had a sequel or a book series that you wish just had one more book. So there's this book that I love that I'm sure a lot of you are sick of me talking about but that's The Sound of Stars by Alekia Dow. That book desperately needs a sequel. It ended on a cliffhanger so I thought she may be writing a sequel soon but there's been no announcement whether a sequel has been coming out and when it's going to come out or anything like that and I'm like that book needs a sequel. You left on a cliffhanger and there's no date for a sequel. There's no even confirmation there's going to be a sequel. Like I am in pain. I need this book to be a series. I need more information about what happens to Morris and Ellie. Like come on. Please Alekia Dow, please, please write a sequel. Number seven is Opening Act, a book that you weren't expecting to love as much as you did. I am gonna go with the book that I'm currently reading and of course say this every time but I will be done reading this book by the time that this video is uploaded. But I wasn't expecting to love The Charm Offense by Alison Cochran as much as I am. So this is one that I wanted a Goodreads giveaway obviously because it's an arc and I don't get arcs otherwise. This is about a dating show where they bring on this dude to be in the dating show but he doesn't spark a romance with the girls that he's supposed to be sparking a romance with. He sparks a romance with his producer. It is so good and I wasn't sure if I would like it because I knew that it was adult and I knew that it had involved dating shows and you know Bachelor, Love Island, those things are not my jam but I freaking love this one so much. Like my heart is so happy. I'm gonna have such a long review for this book once I'm done with it. I just need to gush about how much I love this one and I need everyone to go hype this book up and support it. So go buy this one, go read it, let's talk. But it's 18 plus. There is some super, super steamy scenes, but it is so, so good. Next up is Merch Table, one piece of bookish merch that you either own or want to own. 99% of my bookish merch is Harry Potter related, so let me just grab one of my Harry Potter items. So we're gonna go with this one. This is obviously the night bus from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And I forget which type of candy was in here. I think it was the Jelly Belly brand because Jelly Belly has a ton of different like Harry Potter candies. But I got this and it had candy in it and I'm obsessed with it and I use it for storage now. And I guess it could be used as like a piggy bank. But here's some more bookish items. I use it to keep my little Harry Potter figurines in it for right now. I have Luna, although I don't know how, but she got marker on her face. This feels illegal. Why does she have marker on her face? And then I have ones like Hedwig and Victor Crumb. I have a lot of little figurines in here. So yeah, this is a piece of bookish merch that I absolutely adore. Number nine, Concert Friend, a book that you bonded with someone over. I feel like recently I bought it with some people over Crank Palace by this guy that did crappy stuff. Why are so many authors such bad human beings? Anyways, I feel like I've bonded with people a lot in Goodreads groups over the Maze Runner series, specifically Crank Palace and The Death Cure. So that's sort of cool. I mean, the series like absolutely makes me sob so much, but it's so good and it's letting me connect to so many people. And I just love that feeling of like connecting to other people over like a mutual interest in something. And the final question is number 10, tour announcement, a book that you cannot wait to be released. I feel like I'm behind on following all the releases that I want to read, so I'm going to go on to Goodreads and I'm going to just see what comes out in the next few months that I'm looking forward to. So there's a lot that's on my Goodreads want to read shelf of books that are coming out within the next, like, one or two years I really want to read. But the one that I'm going to be talking about right now is called One for All. It is by Lily Lanoff. So this book just sounds like everything I want and more. It sounds like pure perfection and I cannot wait to read this one. So let me read the little like snippet thing to tell you what it's about. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's very long but like the first little paragraph. It says an own voices gender bent retelling of the three musketeers in which a girl with a chronic illness trains as a musketeer and uncovers secrets, sisterhood, and self-love. This sounds like everything I need in my life. So we have chronic illness rep which you don't see that often in books specifically in young adult books and this is a young adult book and I have a chronic illness so I'm really looking forward to this. I think that there's a chance that she's fibromyalgia I want to say. I had someone recommend this to me on Twitter and that's how I found out about this book. It might have even been the author that told me about it. I'm not sure. So yeah there's like representation where I feel like I'll be seen because I have a chronic illness and I think that's really cool and also the fact that it's not just like 
oh, I have a chronic illness, it's like a romance or like something. It's like, oh no, it's an epic, fun story that's a retelling with someone with a chronic illness. Like, I really appreciate that because like, we're not all just hospital patients going to doctor's visits every two days and laying around in our room. Like, we can have these epic, fun adventures too. Like, sure, our adventures may look a little different because we're chronically ill, but like, we deserve our own adventures. We deserve our own fun stories that focus on us. I'm also looking forward to this because I'm just looking at the genres and they all really appeal to me. So we have fantasy, which is my favorite genre. Really looking forward to a new fantasy book because I'm always up for new fantasy books. We have historical fiction, which I've slowly been trying to branch more into, and it says that it's LGBT. So there's so much representation and so many things just going for this book that is making me so excited for this book. Again, this book is One for All by Lily Lanoff. I will have the cover somewhere on the screen. Feel free to go add this to your want to read shelf on Goodreads. It sounds so magical and fun and I think everyone should read this book. And again, I have not read this book because it is not out yet, but I think it's going to be epic. So that is all for this concert book tag. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. Feel free to also subscribe to the tag creator who'll be down in the description and all of my other social media will also be down in the description. I upload videos three times a week, so I will see you next Friday for my next video. I hope all of you are having a wonderful start to your week and I will see all of you later. Goodbye.